somewhat, quite frankly, just to be honest with you, a stressful day uh, of just, just, just a lot going on this week. I leave tomorrow morning for Salt Lake City uh, for the Hunt Expo, so I'm trying to get weeks worth of stuff done in two days. Uh, I just went out and had to plow out um, kind of a path to our steer pen because we've got a steer ready to go to butcher that's scheduled tomorrow morning at the butcher so I have to leave early in the morning with him. So I had to make sure I didn't get stuck tomorrow with dragging a horse trailer through there. Uh, my boy and I are going to work on a chicken coop. Uh, it's a weird balance around here between doing stuff for work and then being able to do stuff personally at night because I, I it's hard to resist just wanting to be out here working all the time. but. Still got to do the personal side. Uh, so me being the super smart person that I am, hatched the idea to get chickens, and now Josh and Hank are over in the shop building me a chicken house. That was perfect. <laughs> so Josh is out of town at Hunt Expo, and Hank and I are in the barn yeah. doing a little... Uh, vet work i'm not personally doing it our vet is coming <laughs> we are meeting her down here and she's gonna do a couple things for us with the 4-h steers hi my name is dr angela clark i'm a large animal mobile veterinarian today i am working on some show steers and we're treating them for parasites for internal parasites and external parasites and we're also giving them some growth hormones. Put them in the chute because I want their head kind of tied over and restrained. Okay, I wondered if this you goes under the that. skin in the back of their ear. Okay. Do I look in the lens? Yes. So we just got the chef sets. Um, Restart, wrap it up. So we just got all the chef rolls from Francesca over at Teton Leather. And we're now taking the chef's knives and putting them in the rolls so we can, we're all ready for next week's drop. This week's drop. Woo! It's next week. Next week. Woo! <laughs> it's next week. Today's our first day parkerizing inside. We got this big vent hood and the parkerizing solution going in here. We're kind of doing our first trial run, figuring some stuff out. We're getting it going for sure. So, yeah. I, we have been set up. But, uh... <laughs> I got this shirt from Francesca Ritchie from Teton Leather. She's rad. She makes all of our leather goods, our straps, our knife rolls, all of it. <laughs> She's awesome. We are here at the Western Hunt Expo. Uh, super excited to be here displaying for our first time. Uh, we're super stoked to be partnering with MDF. It's really important to me that we keep mule deer, the, the herds and the species alive. Uh, the numbers doing well. It's really something for the future uh, generations coming up that we that we're, we take care of our, our environment and we take care of these herds and the numbers of, uh, of deer that we have to hunt. Big in conservation, uh, we want to be doing more and more with the conservation groups, especially like the Mule Deer Foundation. Uh, these guys are awesome. The event they put on last night, uh, the things that they got going on here at the show is super cool. So come check out the Western Hunt Expo here in Salt Lake City and uh, come see us at the booth. Cleaning up the shop today, team just absolutely crushed it. Chef's, uh, chef's drops are ready for next week. Uh, sold out of our med kits, thank you for all that support. Really excited about that. This is exactly what we're looking for. when We talk about patina of our carbon knives. This thing looks absolutely amazing. This is the standard. If he no. wants it refinished. Like, he didn't ask for that. He just said preserve the Sika logo. So I think yeah. we'll just try to re yeah. It up. Jess is out of the office today. She went down to the Western Hunt Expo. I am in the merch room right now fulfilling some orders. We are packaging hundreds of these med kits and they are going to go out to everyone today. So we got this knife back for our Generations program and one of the special things we can do is that if you have a cool specific logo on your knife like the Sigma one here and it fades off, we can put it back on. Bring up our Sigma logo through our program and I'm going to put it onto Lightburn. And now he's got a sticker logo back. Yes. That actually came out a lot better than I thought it was. We could do all the other ones. He only asked about the I was going to say, I could do let's all Let's do them all. Yeah. Yeah, let's do them all. And then put a killer edge on it and let's yeah. get it back around. Yeah, we'll get it.